Well, folks, we're down to the last level in the garden. Dreadnought Galaxy. I've been warned about this one, being told many times it's pretty tough. But the way I see it, nah. I know it's got its tough stuff, but it's basically Battle Rock on steroids. So let's get to work. We're back with more Super Mario Galaxy. This is part 27, and our first star is infiltrating the Dreadnought. Fun fact, this galaxy gets its name from a battleship that also bears the name Dreadnought. Pretty cool, huh? Alright. Let's see if I can do this. Haven't done this one in a while, so I might need to shake off the rust. But it's not bad. These laser traps are easy enough to avoid. Come on up here and grab as many starbits as you can. Well, I can get some with the pointer, but the direction of my running, absolutely dumb. Okay, there we go. Avoid the last few. And we're good. Going up. And going flying. I gotta tell you, The design of the Dreadnought, pretty cool. Got him. Come get me. Too slow. Okay, he's down. I just gotta get you out of my hair. There we go. Not perfect, but hey, the job's done. All right, let's grab a few more star bits. Yeah, that should be good for now. Not gonna go out of my way to get every last star bit, but I gotta get enough to feed the hungry Lumas because they're not cheap. Good thing I decided to stay still there because I didn't want to turn into an Italian pancake. All right, I'll just climb on up. All right. I'll grab this, even though it's kind of pointless, because there are some instant death scenarios in this room. Let's do it. This is one of them. But I don't see myself getting crushed. There we go. Now, to make our way out of this room, we're going to have to play with gravity a couple of times. That's the first time. And to get to the other one, we're going to have to avoid a few cannons. They're just up here. Right here. Not too troublesome. Okay. Yeah, for this part you gotta be kinda careful because this thing does move kinda fast. Nice. Whatever, I'll take the hit. It's not a big deal. But this part kind of is a big deal. You gotta bounce off the top guy in order to get some height. But you gotta be careful because every time you get up a level, the previous one falls away into the black hole. Nice try, chump. What a jackass. But the best you got. Okay, that was my fault. But there we go. I made it. Still got a good amount of health. So no harm, no foul. Excellent. Caught a ride right to the top. And we're on the home stretch. See that planet? That's where the star is. But we've got some more lasers to avoid. Just gotta be mighty careful. And here we are. Unfortunately, we still got some work to do. And what work is that? One of my least favorite things in the entire game. Escorting a bullet bill. See that water? We gotta smash it open and flood the planet. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. In fact, it's actually pretty straightforward. There we go. Back on track. There we go. Oh, check it out. A ring of star bits. 
but the lasers are also out in full force. So, I've got to be careful. Hmm. Miss my ride. No biggie. I'll just wait. Then again, what choice do I have? Excellent. Ah, dang it. Uh, that wasn't good. In fact, that sucked. Come on, get up there. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. And hopefully I don't screw myself up. A second time. Another one of those damned Mecha Koopas. Ugh. That sucked. Okay. That's a damn good long jump. Alright. And we're done. Dumb stuff aside. Pretty good start. All things considered. But I think at this point I'm not really going to have too, too much trouble with the Dreadnought Stars. Unless, the next star that we're taking on is what I remember correctly. And I'm hoping that I'm not remembering co correctly because I don't want to give myself flashbacks or trauma. But we'll see. Let's go. Back into Dreadnought, back to action. Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons. Yeah. It is what I remember. Oh, this is gonna suck. Usually, one hit will knock you off your platform and you're going right into the drink. But if you're lucky, you might actually be able to survive a hit. On the other hand, it's a pretty simple platforming session, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay. First up, the tile panel flipping. That part's easy enough. But this is where things get a little hairy. More tiles to work with. And more chances to get hit by chomps. But once they're all flipped, star bits are your reward. And you don't have to worry about getting electric shocks anymore. But that doesn't mean you're out of the woods. I guess we gotta start spinning more of these nuts. Just keep running with the momentum and you'll be just fine. At the same time, you're also going to have to combine your dexterity with the running with combat. Because these guys are going to be back. The coconut spitting insect things. That was good. In fact, I cannot stress this enough, the double whammy is key to succeeding in this part. I mean, you don't have to, but hey, if you can pull it off, it makes it look all the better. And here we are, off to the side, or the starboard section of the Dreadnought, and we're going to be moving on to some more dangerous platforming. Let's rock. Easy now. Yeah, this is fine. This part's not too bad. It's what's ahead that can be really troublesome. And every so often, you will be switching. You'll go from upside down, to sideways, and back on your feet. This part is actually a combination of 2 and 3D, because... You can move freely along these platforms, it's not a simple side-by-side. -side. Just be careful, that's all I'm gonna say. And if I'm not mistaken, this part is actually a checkpoint. No need to deal with Thwompo. Although, if you need to, I believe there is a free life mushroom up there. So yeah, keep that in mind, and if you need the lives, go for it. In fact, that might actually be the best way to save yourself from getting a game over in this area. Okay. So far, so good. I might actually be able to pull us off with one go. Although, this isn't too bad of a start, all things considered. I love doing that. Being a jerk to Goombas. It's every hardcore gamer's god-given right. Alright. Almost done. 
But now the fun really starts. More cannons, more cannonballs. So yeah, just watch your hide. <laughs> what the heck was I worried about? That actually went by a lot better than I thought. Okay, so the one doesn't want to take shots anymore. That's fine. This is the guy I'm worried about. But then again, Alfred E. Newman said it best. What, me worry? Job's done. And I am happy. Alright. This time, I'm not going to stop at two stars. It's been just over ten minutes, so we might as well keep going. But I've really got to increase that star bit count. I've got to feed those hungry Lumas at some point. And by God, I will. Number three. By the way, you have your choice in this one. You can actually take on the regular star, or there's a hidden one. But since I don't want to take on the hidden one, ugh, just the thought of it makes me want to puke. I'm going to do this one. Revenge of the Top Man Tribe. And once we finish this one, it should put me on the fast track to the Prankster Comet. Here we go again. Yes. To put it simply, if you want to go to the hidden star, just go on the other underside of the saucer. Thank you. Okay. Gotta take on a little bit of combat. Gotta whack these guys into the electricity and free this guy. Come on. Almost got you. There we go. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. Excellent. Let's keep going. Alright, let's get them starships. Okay, now where's the other one? Oh, I think it's opposite of the switch. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, there he is. Come on, come and get me. Thank you. Excellent. Let's get out of here. This next part coming up, though, this one can be a little painstaking. However, there is a item here to actually take the edge off. The only advice I can give, be quick. If you're not, it could be your undoing. That was just because I can. But this is the part where things get a little hairy. The cannons fire much faster, and one hit can send you right back to the very beginning of the stretch. So far, I'm doing pretty good. Excellent. Wow, did I just one-shot that? Wow. I guess I'm doing quite well today. And now we've got a bunch of these. Not a big deal. I've got plenty of health. Oh, and look at that. There is another life shroom right here. Miss me. What a bunch of clowns. Way too slow. And there's Top Man's ship. But this time he's got a lot of guards in wait. He does not want me to get out of here alive. Ugh. That's fine. That's fine. I can handle this. And I will handle this. Oh, but it looks like he's got himself a new trick. Rotating electric beams going to make hitting him a little more tough. Ah, who am I kidding? I got this. Ugh. Right, that ain't good. Ugh. Not good. But I can still do this. Come on. Okay, there. Got a hit. Okay, he's off my butt. 
Ow. Are you just about done, good sir? Okay. One more hit. One more hit. That's all I gotta do. Unbelievable. I've heard of sloppy performances, but man. I didn't deserve that star. With gameplay like that, I should be hanging my head in shame. In fact, if you could see me right now, I am. Oh well. As long as the star count keeps going up, who am I to judge? So with this taken care of, the price to come should be coming out. And if not, well, I don't really relish the thought of going to that hidden star, but we'll see. <sighs> no, it didn't come out. So, looks like I gotta bite the bullet, and I gotta take on that hidden star. This is not going to be good. Remember the trash mission from Battle Rock? Essentially, it's the same thing. I believe it's called Dreadnought's Garbage Dump. So now we're going to go into the pipe, and we're going to try and empty some garbage. Nice try, slow ass. As you can see, the setup is quite different. And of course, Guillermo's upset. Luckily, I don't have to worry about losing a life if I fail. But just the stress of messing up, it's enough to drive it a drink. In fact, I'm glad I'm not playing a drinking game for this one. Alright. Hopefully I can do this right. Throw that one there. Throw this one here. Hopefully this is the right way to do things. Nope. I already botched it up. Because the bomb blast didn't reach those two up there. Yeah. So that's failure number one. So let's try it again. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Alright, let's try things differently. Toss these bombs here. Might actually be the winning run here. Oh yeah, I think I got this. No! If that one had just went up in flames with the others, I'd be done by now. Well, let's see if the third time's the charm. And if I don't get it this time, you'll probably see a fail montage or some sped up footage. Alright. You over here. You over here. You over here. Alright. I think I got it this time. Yes! Wow. I'm never going to take out the trash again now that I know you can just blow it up. Oh, take this as my thanks. I found it lying around. Maybe it will help you. Third time really was the charm. Yes, I did. And now let's never speak of that again. I'm actually very surprised I got that done as fast as I did. Because usually it takes me dozens upon dozens of tries. This star is pretty unforgiving. But three times, I'll say that's pretty good. Yowza! We hit the big 100! So I think this is a good place to stop the video. Thanks for watching. Dread? I'd say more like, Dread NOT! Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. In the next one... We've got the Speedy Comet to take care of. So, it's going to be fast, action-paced fury. 
when we return. Until then, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg signing off. I love you all, rock on, cheers and beers, and in the immortal words of Judge Joseph Dredd, Court's adjourned.